We thank God for the mighty word. Glory to God. And um, the world revival city is already anointed. Are you there? But today it will be open. Are you with me? Hallelujah. It's like our king was anointed even as a child. But years later, they were appointed. Are you there? So this morning, we are in a very major moment of opening to the public. Now, that's a very big thing. It's an extremely big thing that we can't fully uh, represent in a service. To open is a major word. Major word. But we're trying to do our best. Amen. So that God can be pleased. In my hand is the deed of the World Revival City. Is the deed God is a God of documents and that's why we have this we don't just go by memory hmm? well we don't only be here because you could have here and it be rented am I right or it be leased are you there or it be borrowed are you there Hmm? But God has put in our hand the deed for where you are. Let's praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. The deed means the official legal document. Amen. You may be seated. We try not to be. And I, I, I'm just going to read a little of it so that we we are reasonably clear on what the Lord has done and what he's doing and where the ownership lies. Amen. So I'm just going to read one or two little excerpts. Amen. From the deed. Um, hmm. no, note to record a documentary stamp taxes in the amount of such are being paid in connection with this deed as required by Florida law. Consideration from, for this deed is $1 million. All right. This partner is called a special warranty deed. This special warranty deed made this such time between the board of trustees of the Florida annual conference of such a Florida not-for-profit corporation whose post office address is such and Harvest Army Church International Incorporated a New York non-profit corporation whose post office address is such. I stop to just read a part and to clarify just in case, because there are few folks who are misguided, who want to clarify that the World Revival City is owned by the headquarters in New York. Whether we like it or not, that's what the legal documents say. Did you hear it? A New York nonprofit organization am i right and i just love god there's one or two people as god like new york is a place of release you gotta understand that so now we get it wrong new york is a place of release georgia is a place of refuge and florida is the place of revival don't mix it up I know, it, you know, we have a liquor refuge here and a liquor release here and a liquor revival here, but we're talking about the main thing, the main charge that New York has is release. Release. That church don't know what else to do but to release. That's all they know to do. 
But every now and then, you know, the devil seep in one or two people and they say, oh, if they're releasing so much, if they're releasing so much, then it means it's going to close. Are you there? Misguided. Good people, not bad people, folks who love the church, love the move of God and everything, but they just get misguided. Oh, if they're releasing so much, that means they are going to die. The days are gone when mothers die when they, re when they release a child. Come on, I heard that one family here have six. Are you there? Check them if they're still alive or dead. Are you with me? We just want to clarify. We just want to clarify, folks. Don't understand. And I, 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 I know of many churches that release, and they are stronger than who they release. I could name them. You are from one. Come on, we don't, we don't make up stuff. We don't make up. You are from one. Sit down. You are from one. Stand up. Sit down. All they know is to do is to release. Am I right? That's all they do is release. They, have, they, they don't know to keep nothing. I'm telling you, you are from one. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. And those of you from the headquarters, you are one. Are you there? That's all they know to release. So, you know, every now and then they say, no, if, if they release so much, they're going to close. Come on, you need spiritual eye. And how, how, how are you going to listen and believe that? Where's your eyes? Where's your revelation eyes? Oh, okay, no revelation. Where's your experience? Where's your experience? How many churches are as powerful as the church in New York? How many? Come on. Come on. Come on. They are going to close before the church close. I, I know you don't get the revelation right there. Glory to God. Amen. So, God is just perfect. Just right. Just perfect. That the government, the legal document, declares it. <laughs> Come on, own by the headquarters in New York. Oh, my God, my God, my God. Glory to God. My God, I was going to make a stronger statement, but let's leave that for now. Glory to God. Jesus. And I said, these are not bad people. They're just misguided. Misguided sometimes because they love the church. Why they do that? But we just got to help them. Jesus. Uh, the headquarters, that's the greatest church in the world. I must mess up things a little bit right here. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, we are going to be doing a little read the scripture, Judges chapter 18 and verse 9. Judges chapter 18 and verse 9. If you're able to put it up, try. If not, it's fine. Mm. And they said, Arise, that we may go up against them for we have seen the land and behold it is very good and are ye still be not slothful to go oh my god and to enter to possess the land verse 10 of Judges chapter 18. When ye go, ye shall come unto a people secure unto a large land, for God hath given it into your hands a place where there is no want of anything that's in the earth. If you ask those who have been working here and fixing and renovating, how did they will tell you? They will interpret this for you. That there's nearly no want of anything as they built. My God of mercy here. Glory to God. But I want to read back a little part of verse 9. And they said, Arise that we may go up against them. It means that the possession involves fighting. It involves expansion. It involves other things, but God has a starting point. This thing going to extend to like square miles. But we confess Yes, truly first, that we wanted the square miles before the sanctuary. 
We wanted the square miles and we can't appreciate it if it don't start with the square miles. And, and, and we don't mind if we acquire square miles and can't finish one building until three years. Are you there? So God correct us. Uh, correct us in our good desire but ignorance. I said, no, I got a pristine start for you. And in that large place that you want, the square miles, you don't know that a place like this has had so many facilities, so many buildings, so many floors, so many could be spread out over half a mile. So you have to walk to the, to the, to the, to the, to the playroom, you have to walk quarter mile. That's the, the place we're getting, that's, what, that's how it's going to be. But right in a compact setting, my God, God cause the possession as was advertised for years back. And this World Revival City is being waited for, not for the few years that we have heard about it, but it's been waited for for over 25 years. It's documented in one or two of our books. It's only get more loud now as God bring more clarity and more detail. The next major project of Harvest Army International is to acquire a large estate as the World Revival City, the epicenter for the long awaited end time revival. This is what was published like two, three years ago. It will be the ultimate sight on earth to invoke the outpouring of God's revival across the world. Some of the features will include resource center. It is here. The Worldwide Vision Day Center. Church. Two churches are here of different culture. Revival Seminary. It's here on the second floor of one of the many buildings. Prayer Mountain slash Tower, two quarters, male and female. Stadium, amphitheater in the making, but if you go across here, you'll see our soccer grounds. Oh, it's all there. The soccer ground is there with the poles at the end. Are you there? It's all there. Television studios is there. Music studios slash school is there. Hotels will be built right there. Auditorium, Bishop B. L. Matthews Auditorium where the other church worships right now. We're not alone here right now. My God. If you're bored, go over there. My God, I'm happy. And spend two minutes and come back. Amen. Christian theater, that will be in the Bishop B.L. Matthews Auditorium. Library, restaurant slash cafeteria, bookstore slash library, media center slash TV studio, restoration station, second floor of the other building, rehabilitation quarters slash practice pavilions, second floor, tents on their way right now, on its way. <laughs> campsite the entire place we even have a children david camp and that was not even on the list residences that's getting started some folks because the first time when they heard, they heard a lot of people was going to live around and they think that the people would just live on next door to the church because at that time our eyes was not yet open and God brought us to a place where you guys can buy the houses in this area. I mean, I see fulfillment so powerful. And some of you right now are only waiting to close. Some of you right now are only waiting to close on houses down the road. You're not with me, see? You see, revelation, revelation is a tough thing. The Bible
Bible call it dark saying. You see, we know in part we prophesy, so we, we don't even get it. But it's happening already. And we are in an area that, listen, it's not hard to have a thousand homes right around here. Don't beat upon yourself. I struggle too and I, I learn and I get refined in my understanding. And I realize as I get refined, it's more powerful than I thought. Wells, slush, springs. Yes, it's right there behind the, the game room. Cabins, trailers, oh, they will be here. Farms, garden. Some of you started already. Storehouses, like five. Come on, other folks want to rent it. Dormitories is coming. Sport facilities, game room, basketball court, soccer, table tennis. Come on, schools annex. Report quarters is there. Roads, listen, the roads through here are not just for here. And that's why they lock, they lock one end of two of them. They go right through. For a while before we bought, the cars drive through here like it's their road. Oh, God is, God is amazing. Jesus. Ark slash ship that's on the lake coming. Oh my God, glory to God. And then we have, which was not on the list now, David's camp, a play park, so big behind there. Oh, play, more for the children, I call it play park. A, a, a charities center. Some of you never been to that one, go and look after church. A charity center is not just a pantry, not just for clothes, but for um, uh, 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 amenities of all kinds, globally. Refugees, homeless, orphans, are you there? Help in basic uh, 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 helps in the community, those who need upgrades in this and that, etc., etc. Charities. Conference center, we never even expected those things so we thank God somebody thank you Jesus glory to God glory to God glory to God hallelujah so I'm going to ask our presbyter to come and stand beside me right here glory to God our bishops and our apostles can stand with me if you're doing camera or whatever, you ask somebody to help you. When we ask our presbyter if you stand beside me right here. We ask the rest of us to stand. Glory to God. Stand half, half on this side, half on that side. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody give God some mighty, mighty, mighty praise. Hallelujah. We're going to be asking, or oh, Bishop Fagan, come beside Bishop Fagan. He's going to pray. And you're going to pray our, our opening prayer. And then we're going to open it by spiritual authority. Go give him the microphone. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody worship the Lord right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Almighty God, Father, we thank you. Almighty God, look what you have done, Lord. What we have waited for has come to pass. And Lord, we give you thanks, Almighty God, for this day. Oh, Lord God Almighty. Father, as we open the World Revival City, Almighty God, what was prophesied, O oh Lord God Almighty, Lord, as we stand right here in prophecy, in the fulfillment of prophecy,
prophecy. Father, we worship you. Lord, we bow down at your feet. Let us bow down a little. We bow down. Oh, Lord, God Almighty. And Lord, we worship you this morning. We honor your Christ. Father, we adore you. We lift you up. There is none like you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Lord, for your faithfulness. Almighty God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that what, oh God, you have spoken, that you have bring it to pass. And Father, we pray, God, that you will establish it, almighty God, upon the earth. And Lord, we pray, God, that, Lord, many, oh God, will come to the World Revival City. Lord, that you will draw men from across the world, oh God, from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south. Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, we honor you, we bless your name, Lord. And Father God, we pray, God, that you will open the eyes of the body of Christ. And Lord, that they will recognize and realize, Lord, that you, God, have chosen this place, Lord, as an heart. Almighty God for revival as an heart for souls Almighty God Lord bless your people right now cover this place under your blood breathe upon it Lord bless and sanctify in Jesus mighty name in me as the presiding bishop of Harvest Army Church International and all branches, affiliates, all alliances, associates, and friends by the authority vested in me and be before all the witnesses and before a part of the presbytery of Harvest Army Church International, we hereby declare the world revival city, the first of its kind upon the earth since Christ. The world revival city open in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost and able to say through Jesus Christ our Lord. Give the Lord a handsome God.
you may be seated feel free to keep on praising the Lord thank you O Presbytery Lord of all and just to reiterate that our Presbyteries of all cultures many cultures Lord of God Jesus many cultures here and um, it's open to all races all cultures all tribes amen for the mighty move of God and if you come you discover that the door is open for you 